10-year Treasury note futures opened a session on both sides of unchanged and eventually an early going pressed lower with yields going a little bit higher. It appears Easter Monday is bringing limited liquidity and conviction to the market, giving most of Europe is closed. But there was a lot of carryover digestion from Friday's BLS report and speculation on what the Fed will do at the next meeting in May. Also over the weekend, fresh geopolitical headlines from U.S., China, Russia, etc., that said, uh, traders also monitoring other assets in the early going with uh, oil slightly lower, dollar higher, and stocks basically unchanged in the early session. Get into the mid to late session, uh, we wound up in a fairly narrow but volatile trading range. Fed fund futures now uh, indicating better odds than they were on Friday with regards to May uh, rate hike for the FOMC. We had Fed speak from uh, Williams, a moderated discussion at NYU. CFTC data showed that leverage shorts were up about 150,000 contracts week to last Tuesday reporting. That said, uh, cross asset performance continues to dominate uh, traders uh, thinking right now, given the limited conviction in treasuries, um, also squaring positions for a very heavy week. We have three Fed speakers tomorrow, Wednesday, CPI and FOMC minutes, PPI on Thursday and retail sales on Friday. Get into um, options, I look at CME Group, CVOL, May, trading about the 23rd, 25th percentile on a one month basis. At the money vol and SKU are both slightly lower on the day. SKU's lower as the up variance or call wing is down just slightly more than the down variance or put wing. Option volume uh, fairly spread out, but seeing some notable volume in the May 116 and 117 call strikes when the put side is clustered around the 114 and 114 half puts. Lastly, CME Group Micro Treasury Yield Futures volume there fairly strong today. Um, Friday's volume, the 7th, was estimated at 973, open interest estimated at 2,522.